Hello everyone, so this is the 10th session of the advances in food analysis and the topic which we will be covering today is Transmission Electron Microscopy which is the continuation of the 7th, 8th and 9th session. So in 1931 while conducting research for uh, his master's at technical college of the Berlin, Ernst Ruska and Max Knoll designed the first stem. This is much like a slide projector but the basic difference is light microscope uses beam of light whereas stem uses beam of electrons. Spectroscope stem is a microscopy technique in which a beam of electrons is transmitted through an ultra thin specimen interacting with the specimen as it passes through. So what is a transmission electron microscope? The electron passes through a very thin sample that is that they are transmitted to form an image. Simplistically in its operation of a TEM can be thought of an analogous to the light projector. Um, so it consists of the bias resistor, it consists of filament, the first condenser uh, aperture, then there is a second condenser lens aperture and there is a specimen on which uh, the electron beam is concentrated Then there is an objective lens and uh, then there is an intermediate lens and a projector lens. In transmission electron microscope, the uh, electron beam is transmitted through, a uh, to the specimen. So the formation of diffraction patterns and image in a TEM. So this is how the diffraction pattern forms in a TEM. Uh, that is the incident beam passes through the transmitted trans passes through the uh, specimen and there is a transmitted beam which uh, gets concentrated at a spot there is a diffraction of spot from the incident beam and this is the uh, image of the specimen which is uh, into the image plane uh, so what is the basic principle of TEM uh, TEM operates on the basic principle as a light microscope uses electrons instead of light since light microscope is limited by the wavelength of light TEM uses electrons as a light source as much as low wavelength makes it possible to get a resolution of thousand times better than what with the light microscope. So the optical microscope has a resolution of 200 nanometer and a magnification of 1000 x and TEM has a resolution of 0.2 nanometer and a magnification of 5 lakhs x zoom. The main components of a TEM are the TEM can be broken down into few components these are the gun the gun produces the electrons the condenser system which forms the probe the sample preparation and uh, the sample preparation is a important and a time consuming job then image formation this image plane and a back focal plane then there's an intermediate lens that is transmitting and magnifying the first um, enlarged diffraction or image pattern to projector lens and then there's a projection of the image that is a magnification and for viewing and recording so there's a diagram this is a, a basic block diagram to represent the temps working uh, that is a visual source of the electron there's a first condenser lens second condenser lens as the condenser aperture and there's a sample through which the electron beam is transmitted and it passes the, through the objective lens into the selected aperture area and then there's a main screen on which it can be recorded in a temp the electron beam is focused on the sample using the condenser lens system this produces an image which is focused um, by the objective lens to a point this image is then magnified by a series of projector lens to vary the sign of the image on the fluorescent screen changing the current of the electromagnetic lens alters its focal length altering magnification so what are the basic applications of them a transmission electron microscope is ideal for a number of different fields such as life sciences, nanotechnology, medical, biological and material research, forensic analysis, gemology and metallurgy as well as industry and education. Time case field can be used in semiconductor analysis and production and the manufacturing of computer and silicon chips. Technology companies use STEM to identify flaws, fractures and damages to micro sized objects. This data can help fix the problems or help to make more durable or efficient products. That's all for this session. Thank you.